Hey everybody, Alan here. Welcome back to the Gibson Garage Speed Shop YouTube channel and thank you for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing slash review of this Foxwell battery analyzer. So the company reached out to me right in the perfect time as I'm doing this alternator video. I have a factory 105 amp GM alternator and it was not designed to do anything but the AC and the blower motor and a radio, right? If you guys have been following along, you'll know that uh, I've got an electric water pump and the electric fans on here, and I've been having an issue at idle with that water pump on. Kind of takes away from the electrical power I need just to run the car. Idle's pretty low. So we're gonna hook up the analyzer and see if it detects anything. Uh, and then we're gonna do the alternator swap to the new 250 amp JS alternator. And then we'll do an analyzer test again and see if it says anything different at all. So hang in there guys, let's get started. This is Foxwell brand. You'll find them on Amazon, a Foxwell battery analyzer. This one runs for about $139 um, at the time they sent it to me. Seems a little on the high side of things, but we'll see exactly what all it does and and we'll go from there and these are all the features and benefits i'll read them off together multiple vehicle applications passenger cars and light duty tests rated from 100 to 2000 cold cranking amps test multiple types of batteries uh, regular flooded agm flat plate agm spiral plate which is optima spiral plate agm flat plate would be like pretty much every other brand of AGM out there, including Odyssey. Uh, gel, I don't know what that is. Okay, no need to remove the battery. Detects bad cells, so maybe it'll let us know if the battery's not just good or bad, but if a cell or two is or whatever, I don't know. Quick start analysis, advanced starter and alternator test, okay. That's kind of the difference there. This does starting and alternator test. Kind of like what they do at, you know, the local auto parts store. They can test all three, starter, alternator, and battery. So that's, that would explain the price hike if you are wanting all of that. 12 and 24 volts, just three seconds. Does not emit light, heat, or spark. So no hot coil you gotta worry about touching. No carbon filament thing. How do they do the load, I wonder? Digital capacitors, electro digitals, automatic temperature compensation, backlit LED, all the languages. Okay, well, let's see what the inside of this looks like. Hard case, I'm assuming that's going to be up. Let's find out, yeah. Oh, wow, it's actually a lot larger than it looks in the pictures. <laughs> Much bigger in person. So that's what, that's, that's a big guy. It is very light. That's good, I guess. And then you got the clamps. And a quick start guide. And a user's guide. And just to, you know, I know you guys are going to want to hit me up in the comments about how I'm an idiot. Yes, no, you're right. I'm not a real mechanic. And I've never used other than the one at AutoZone for six years. I've never used one of these battery analyzers before, so, you know, I don't care. Just, you can leave now. So I read the quick start guide, and it is pretty much exactly just like the AutoZone SOP. You know, you hook it up to the battery first and test that, then you turn the uh, starter and start the engine, and it tests that and then it'll test the charging system after it's started and running. So let's do that. So it says it's supposed to start up automatically as soon as you connect it. I heard a beep. There we go. There we go. 12.4 volts, okay, okay. That's pretty neat. Just hook it up and it's going to read. Let's just compare that to the dash. I'm reading 12.3. But, uh, you know, a bit of a loss from here to there. Let me press the main menu button. And we're going to do, I guess, battery test. Enter. So you have to start there. 12 volt. Regular. Start, stop. I 
just regular start stop. I don't know. Out of vehicle, in vehicle. Um, yep. Glass mat. Cold cranking amps are 720. Oh, you're kidding me. You gotta hold it for a couple seconds longer than I expected. Gosh. Please wait. Good recharge, it's saying. Okay, I found a second page. It says ohms. 81%, 83%. SOH and SOC. Hmm. I still don't know. I'll press. Let's try enter. Maybe that's the enter button. Is that an enter button? Oh yeah, start engine. is on. I want to turn on the fans. Uh oh, we got a quick start guy going crazy down there. Not anymore. No hit enter. Checking for alternator output. Red engine with low. to do by yourself no load is 14 loaded 13.68 which seems to match what I'm reading in there no problems it says that's not a problem my alternator screaming begs to differ but <laughs> that's the before now I'll swap out the alternator and we'll do this all over again all right, got the new alternator in and I got the machine hooked up. So let's see what it says now. Coincidentally, I got a battery light on. So that's good news for you guys. We're gonna see if this machine can detect that. I'm not 100% confident that it will because the light isn't on 
I'm not sure because the light isn't on for normal reasons. Um, I have good voltage, so I don't know why the light's on at all. I'm thinking it's got something to do with the wiring here. I might need to tap another wire into the F maybe for field. I'm not sure. I'm still gotta do the power wire, make that larger. Uh, but anyway, we'll move on with the test. So we're sitting here at battery test. I'm gonna set you guys up actually. Okay, we'll try that. Let's hit enter. 12 volt system, regular, I guess it's regular. It's in vehicle, it is side post. AGM, cold cranking amp, 720. Please wait. Ah, temperature. Look, they didn't do that earlier. It is a cold morning, so we're above zero Celsius. That's like 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, we're still above. It's like 45. Surface charge detected. That's cool, so it knows it was just on. Turn on headlights. Headlights on. Headlights on detected. Good. Turn headlights off. Headlights off. Detected. Please wait. Okay. Uh, measured 479, even though it was rated at 720. Measured 479. This thing's not old at all. It's brand, brand new. It could just be cold weather. So let's hit enter. Start engine. Starter, bolts didn't drop too low. Time is only a second, point one again. Check in alternator output. I don't know if you guys want light or no light. So now you got a red engine with loads off. Detected, press enter to continue. Testing alternator at idle loads off. Turn high beams and blower motor on. I'm gonna turn high beams and water pump. Lights, high beams, water pump, and blower motor. engine detected it should just say press enter because I got no button that looks like that arrow even though on a keyboard I know but turn off loads and engine press to continue No problems. No load is 1420. Loaded was 1387. Okay. No problems. Did not say anything about, well, a problem. So I have no answer for the battery light, but that's okay. Yeah. And then you got Bluetooth options here. So if you had a printer close enough, you could come down here first before you do anything and set up your Bluetooth connections. You'd search for your printer, but you gotta stay connected to the battery. This is the only way it gets power. There's no battery in here at all, no charging cord. It's the only way it runs. So your printer's gotta be close enough to you. If necessary, you got that button. But tell me what you think. Uh, um, if you guys have one, if you guys used other similar products, I've seen, like I said, I've worked at AutoZone and O'Reilly's and I've used their testers. For years I know this thing does everything those can do I will say at least everything that AutoZone and O'Reilly's handheld machines can do as far as battery starting and charging analyzing okay so pros and cons pro it's new it's fan dangled technology 
it's lightweight, it's small, you don't have to worry about the heated carbon filaments, the delicate stuff, um, and it's not big and bulky. Of course, I said small already. Cons? Um, I would say price, but it's a battery analyzer. You gotta remember, not just the battery tester. It tested three functions or three components of the vehicle, your battery starting and charging. And it's like having AutoZone or Riley in the palm of your own hands. You don't gotta take it down to the store. You can go help your friends out when they got a dead battery. It's awesome thing. It's a pretty awesome tool for 140 bucks. I'd say it's worth it, I guess. I mean, if you're, I, it's not something probably I would have bought because I'm not, I'm not, I don't, but it's, it's cool to have when I need it. And considering the way the other ones you look, I mean, it's not really a big deal to some people. Maybe other people will prefer, you know, time tested technology, that heating coil and that gets all hot. I don't like none of that. Uh, I prefer new modern technology. I prefer to try and trust in it to excel the world and our knowledge, right? What are you doing? What were you doing? You're like bent in half, what's wrong with you? So do me a favor please, by doing them a favor and checking out the Foxwell battery analyzer on Amazon. Oh, I wish you guys could see this, but I would have to turn the camera around. I can't focus. <laughs> That's too funny. That's gonna do it guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you tuning in. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. If you wanna help out with the, um, with the, uh, you know, that thing. If you wanna help out with the lift, Helping me put that up. Go ahead and hit that super thanks button down there. Or just share. Just share them, you know. That all that 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 all helps. I'll leave you with a shot of this though. I still use it as a truck.